Hello, my name is Lady D. Welcome to my channel. What I do here, I keep it real. I always keep it real. Grown folks conversation. So on your way in, please hit the like button, share the video, or subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. <laughs> Come on in. Let's get this conversation started. Good morning, everyone. Um, I just wanted to hop on quickly. Um, this is regarding today's telephonic hearing on R. Kelly's case. I have to say I've never been so disappointed in our people. that I am today. I cannot believe the behavior that you guys did during that hearing. I've never seen so much disrespect. And I told you guys several times, I mentioned it several times, when you dial into that hearing to mute your phones, I know I said it multiple times. I know I said to treat it as if you were in that courtroom. You can't say a word. As you're dialing in, put your phone on mute so you will not forget. The way you guys disrespected that judge, that hearing, junk, gen the way you guys disrespected that hearing is just un. But I am just in a state of shock. How could you do that? How could you people use such foul language during a hearing? How could you disrespect Robert Sylvester Kelly like that? This hearing. They're talking about this man's life. You're going to get into your feelings because the what happened with the judge did something you didn't like? So you just damn the rest of the, the proceeding? I was coming on here hoping I could tell you guys the motion for dismiss uh, was granted and this and that and the other and, you know, Jennifer filed a motion asking them to continue the trial in the wee hours of the morning um, last night. But all of that just went to the wayside. I cannot believe people called into that number and act like they're talking to just some Joe on the street. You're talking over the judge. We can't even hear what was going on. What made you think that was okay for you to do that? So I want you to know going forward, I don't know. I'm praying it was none of my subscribe. I really don't know. But I know I gave that information to a lot of people that I thought was mature enough that can go into that hearing, mute their phone, and just listen. But no. It's just all the cursing and I was, I, I'm just appalled. I cannot believe it. So going forward, me, Lady D, I will not provide that information ever again. I will not. At least I'll know if someone getting on there acting ignorant the way they were on that phone today. At least I know I had no parts of that because I feel guilty because I gave that number to a lot of people. Not saying the ones I, I don't know. I just don't know. But I will not put myself in that situation again. So I can't even tell. I don't even know if the motion to dismiss was even discussed. Because all the talking over the judge, because he uh, didn't grant Jennifer's motion to continue the trial from August 1st. Yes, 
We all have feelings. But we didn't have to, you didn't have to act like that. Your phone should have been muted, but you didn't care. You knew you weren't muted. You people out there, you always want attention. That was awful what you did and very disrespectful. They hurry up and got the case out of there. So I really don't know. I don't think the motion to dismiss was granted because I think what happened, uh, Jennifer ended up, because like I said, she filed a motion uh, in the wee hours uh, and um, which caused her to ask for the continuance. So I'm confused right now because, again, it was so much ruckus with R. Kelly supporters that I couldn't hear. And I want to apologize to you guys for that. But I will try to uh, find out from other bloggers what actually happened. Because what I witnessed, I'm telling you, if I was not on that phone and someone told me what went on, I would not have believed it. I would not have believed that. Because we are all adults and there is no way that behavior that just shouldn't have happened. There's no way you would have done it inside that courtroom because you know when there's a proceedings going on, you can't say a word. And you knew that. So you guys disrespected us for providing you. We didn't have to provide that information to you guys. I did that out of the kindness and thinking that you are really true, true supporters. But that type of behavior doesn't sound like someone that's uh, a true supporter. I'm sorry. If you are, you just have a different way of showing it. Because that we wanted to hear what was going on. You couldn't hear because your phone's unmuted. You're cursing all in the background. You're talking about the parents and who should beat you. And, oh, you can't even give him... Uh, 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 a couple of more months. This is some, I mean, you people just went off. It's not what you do. And you know that. So what I'm saying here is irrelevant because I know you knew it. I don't know what that was about. But all I'm saying, I will not be providing any information like that again going forward. Man, very disappointing. But so as far as I know right now, the trial will still proceed on August 1. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe the motion to dismiss was continued to give the government time to reply to that motion. But I will definitely uh, double check that. But that's what I got from what I could possibly hear. It was a disaster. And I'm not talking about the proceedings. I'm talking about the so-called supporters. Hope you guys have the good uh, rest of your day. Bye-bye.